Linus Torvalds is quote fed up with buggy hardware and completely theoretical attacks. He is lashing out the hardware companies and turning down security patches to Linux. What's going on here, Brian? So, yeah, I mean, uh, hardware keeps adding new features to make things faster and more sophisticated. And every once in a while, somebody finds a vulnerability, a way of you know having one process find out information from another process or something using you know in this case these kind of advanced uh, CPU features. Typically, the response is turn that feature off, and we we saw that with hyper threading with the. Yeah, the specter, specter attacks and yep, all those. So yeah, the normal fix for this is once somebody finds a vulnerability, just turn it off. And so he's to this latest round saying, no, he's not going to do it. I have to be honest, the whole specter attack thing freaked me out because I read about the vulnerability about if one process does this, then this will get slightly slower for the other process. And so you can figure out what the other guy, I, I read that and I said, that would never work. And then people put out JavaScript you could run in the browser that used it. It seemed entirely counterintuitive to me. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I think, in this latest round of attacks, he's saying that they're purely theoretical. And uh, I don't know. (laughs) I think... I don't think they stay theoretical for long. I think people are really smart. They figure out how to use this stuff. And so it's, I think, probably a a very short jump from kind of proof of concept or maybe it could work this way and then, you know. So he's saying he wants the hardware vendors to fix their own stuff. I mean, does that mean crank out new chips that don't have vulnerabilities? Because obviously that's going to take years and not help the people with existing. Or is he talking about in the Linux source code? I'm not sure. So they they provide microcode, and I mean, they're obviously, you know, they have maintainers in in Linux, so I don't know. It's not quite clear to me what he means by that, but obviously the chips are out there. You know, there may be affected hardware revisions that never have a hardware fix, and so I think at some point, you know, they're maintaining a giant OS that's used in really important data center applications and stuff, so if there's thousands of those chips out there, it should be fixed, you know. But as a customer, this is like... Upsetting stuff, because when they announce how fast the new chip is, Intel or AMD, they mean with all the new features turned on. Yeah. And then as time goes on, they say, oh, that one wasn't so secure, turn it off. That one wasn't secure, tell Linux to turn it off. That one wasn't secure, turn it off. And each time, like, computers really do get slower. They do. That's how it goes. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? So these machines are not nearly as fast as when you bought them. <laughs> right. So I think, I mean, in that case, if you are sitting at home and playing games on your gaming PC or whatever, you can turn all that stuff on. And so, I mean, I think in that way, you know, even with uh, Spectre, I mean, you could you could disable those mitigations and, and get back that 20%. And so I think if it's you using your thing, it's fine. If it's my bank... I'd rather they turn that off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let, let them buy a couple more computers. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, the cloud now it, and the browser, I mean, it's funny. You're running all this code that other people you've never met, you know, the Amazon is, right? Every, right? Anyone can submit stuff and run on their website. And, of course, the big machines, little websites, they'll run a bunch on one machine. I mean, there's... Exactly, Yeah. There is some real dangers here. Yeah. So I think know your security model. And uh, yeah, if you're my bank, please turn off these features. (laughs) (laughs) But on my gaming PC, turn back on. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously there are a bunch of CPU companies. You know, who's he going after here? Which, Which company? So I think this latest round, he's going after Intel. Okay. Last time it was AMD and he has a... A long, a long burning feud with NVIDIA. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it, it's all of them, right? I mean, it's actually yes. D- different bugs at different times or different companies. What about Apple? I mean, we're talking about Linux. We're talking about Intel and AMD. Does Apple have these problems? So, some of these issues affected Apple as well. And obviously, with their M line of ARM-based chips, people just find kind of different sorts of vulnerabilities that affect their chips. And within twelve hours or so, there's a a new update and they fix it typically. But I think this line of issues that affects Intel, I don't think touches Apple at all. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And the other thing about Apple, their model of secrecy, you know, who knows? If their kernel people are yelling at their hard, <laughs> you know, at their chip people. Exactly. Uh, you know, may, maybe they are and we would never hear about it. Exactly. Right? I mean, they're, they're just an integrated front hardware, software chips. Yep. Every once in a while, they'll pay a bug bounty for and say that yeah you know, this fixes this uh, CVE and whatever you know set of chips or something so sometimes apple's clear with that stuff but typically now it's just here's an important security update that's it <laughs> I, i've gone through to click to see the release notes and they they're just you know sometimes they're important security updates <laughs> okay. exactly what about microsoft <laughs> so you know an issue like this that affects 
Intel CPUs, I would assume that it affects Microsoft and they probably just already patched it. Yeah, they'll move quickly on these things and just push it out on a patch Tuesday. Exactly. If you want to hear more technical discussions like this, be sure to subscribe to get alerted next time we post. Thank you.